Hey, what's up, guys? Chung here again. So today I want to talk about another lead called problem here, number four hundred, the nth digit. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure why so many people hate this problem. I think it's kind of okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm not give it either a upvote or downvote. It's a, it's an interesting problem here. So let's take a look. So find the nth digit, the digits, not the number. Okay, so take. No, notice here it's a digit, not a number of the in that, uh, infinite integer sequence. Right, the sequence start from one, and you need to find the nth digit. So, by right, the digit means the uh, if you have a number, right? If you have num number a number have like more than one digit, for example, ten, right? So, for example, here you have you need to find the eleventh digit. So, what is that? One, two, three, four, nine, right? So the tenth digit, the tenth digit is is one, and the eleventh digit is zero. That's why the answer for this problem is zero, right? So as you can see here, so each uh, number with two digits will will use up will use uh, two two digits, right? Each number with three digits will use like three with three digits, right? And ask you to find, giving you the number of n. How can you find the nth digit, right? And <clears throat> so, if you look closely, from one to nine, uh, it's one digit, right? From ten to uh, uh, ninety-nine, right? That's uh, that's two digits, right? Same thing for 100 to 999. That's three digits, right? So how how many of how many of, of digits are here in total? Nine. How about here? Sorry, sorry. How many numbers? How many numbers in from one to nine? It's nine, right? How about from 10 to 99? 90, right? How about from 100 to 999? 900, right? So basically, this will have like have one time one digits. This will have two digits. This is how will have three digits, right? So with this like observation here, we can find the range. We can find the range of the starting point, right? By looping through the by keep uh re subtracting the digits from uh by with this pattern until we see a negative number here. All right. And then, and then we can use this one as a as a starting point, as a starting point to uh, use the length of a starting point to find the uh, the 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 actual number, the actual digits, right, in that range. Okay, so and. Okay, so what what are we gonna do, right? So you can see here. So that's the range, right? So until the number is not exceeding this range, then we know we need to stop. So how what do we do? We uh we simply start the length will be one and the count is nine, right? So we simply start this and then we we do a while. While n is greater than the uh, if n is still greater than the length, right? Times the count, right? Then we know we still need to keep moving to the next range, to the next range, and so n minus length count. All right. Then we we increase the length by one, and we also increase the count by by ten times. All right. So. Basically, every time we start from one with nine with nine in, nine numbers, and the length is also one, right? And we keep the uh, subtracting the this total digits for the current range uh, out of the n until we reach. And once we we uh, move to remove nine, and then we try to remove we try to remove ninety times two digits. If this one n is still that the remaining is still 
greater than this, and then we know, okay, so the number has to be three digits, uh, above two digits, maybe three digits, maybe not, right? And then let's say, say for example, let's say we have a number uh, two, three, one, All right? So first we try to remove nine, right? We, we remove nine times one, which is the, uh, it's gonna be a, uh, gonna be two, 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 All right? And then we try to remove 90 times two, right? Which is 180, we get 42, right? Because since this, 222 is still greater than the, the, than the second range, and then we know we need to go to the third range. But f 32 is smaller than the 2700, right? So then we know, okay, so the number we are looking for is, is three digits, right? And now with the thir 42 here, it's not hard to come up with the, uh, the actual number we need and also the digits within that number, right? So go, let's go here. So, okay, so let's take this as an example here, right? Now, since we know the, let's get a start number here, right? And we know the number will be the 10 to the, the what? The length, the length minus one, right? Because right now the length is three, for example, in this case, right? And we, the, the starting number we need is the 100, right? That's why we need to do a length minus one so that we can have a 100 at the start number here. Now, uh, let's do a, and now we need to uh, do a di uh, div mod, right? With this, like the remaining n here, uh, with the length here, right? We need to find out the actual number starting from this number. So I'm gonna give number dot remainder, right? Equals to that, right? So here I do a simple check here. Basically, if the remainder is zero, right? It's zero. What what does it mean? It means that okay, so the the uh, if it's zero, it means the uh, that digits we are looking for is the last digit of the number of this number plus this one, right? So basically, we uh we do a return. Right, so because we do a, let's see, we do a start number plus uh, number minus one. Okay, so why we need to do a minus one here? Because the uh, the 100 itself, the 100 itself also needs to use up one, uh, three digits. And here, since we're doing this like n, right? We basically we're starting from 100, right? That's why we need to might uh, do a minus one. For example, here if it's a 100, right? And you, let's say for example the 42 minor uh, divided by three is uh, 14, right? It's 14. So then what's the number? So if we do a 114, right? Uh, from 100 to, to 14, there are like 15 numbers, not 14, right? That's why we need to do a 14 minus one because that's what we need because 100 to 13 equals to 14 numbers, All right? Be basically, this is the, 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 the Nth, the nth number starting from 100, right? Because since this is a zero base, that's why we need to do a minus one here, All right? So, and now we have that number, right? And now we need to find the nth, the last digit of that. So how can we do that? We do a, we basically convert it to a string, and then we do a, we find the the last one, and then we convert it back to the int because it asks us to return the uh, the integer in the end. Else, right? What if this remainder is not the, uh, has some remainders, right? Then we know, okay, so we need to do it the next, we need to go to the next, the next numbers, right? Same thing right here. Since we're going to the next numbers, we don't, we just simply do a num, right? We, we just uh, do a from minus one to a plus one. And then the, the, 
and the index will be the remainder. Remainder, sorry, minus one, same thing, right? Right, minus one, because the index is zero base, and this is the, the nth digit, which is one one base. That's why we need to uh, do the remainder minus one. Okay, I think that's it. Let me let me try to clear this screen here. Let me try to run it here. Mm, three, this one works. Cool. So yeah, yeah, pretty straightforward uh, uh, idea here. The the only thing you need to know that is you need to find the range first. How can you find the range? Basically, you keep decrease it subtracting. The length time, the current length plus the, the current count in the current range out of n. Then if, once you find the starting point, you just do the, the following search. And cool, I think that's it for this problem. Thank you so much for watching the videos, guys. And I hope you guys like it. And and yeah, I think that's it. Thank you so much. And see you guys soon. Bye-bye.